morning everyone. Yep, here we are again on the way to work with George Morris Minor. And as you guys know, we've been talking about George has been losing a bit more oil than usual. Um, now I've had this car this time for only a few months. Since I've had him, I've noticed he's definitely losing more oil. Um, I used this car every day when I owned him before, for about five years, my daily. And yeah, all Morris miners will lose some oil, especially um, from the rear where the crank go through. We all know that reason for that is there's no real seal in there and I always spoke before if I kept the oil quite low I didn't really have a problem only a few drips but this time that seems like there's quite a bit of oil the oil um, is kept low now one of the reasons when I changed the oil kept it lower than what the guy had it before because that was leaking oil and I thought ah oh, that's because there's too much oil in it that's why it's doing that but to be honest oh traffic lights are back yeah to be honest uh, this time that's leaking more than ever um, it might be the breather's blocked it could be the road pipe breather from the crank could be on top of the rocket so if I get a chance to die I'm gonna have a check it out and if not I'm gonna have to have some further investigation that might it might even be the gasket on the sump is not too good what's the time it's only 20 to 6 so I've got a little bit of time I'm gonna go past where I normally park just check I just mentioned it before there was a guy who was working on a boggy a few years ago and as far as I can remember I haven't seen him there in the last year so whether he's give up whether something happened to him I'm not sure so I'm just checking this morning whether it's still there it's only just around this next corner that's if it's still there I'm just gonna check on that and if it is I might pop there later pop around there this time of the day and just find out what's going on then where was it was it here no not there somewhere here not there it might be here yeah there it is it's still there don't look like anything else has been done to it I don't know if it's got an engine, but what I'm thinking is, if he's give up and he doesn't want to do anything with it, maybe there's some spare parts for George, like um, driver's door, maybe even the engine if it's any good. Right, let me get my other camera. There is it, it's somewhere here. There it is, look, just through there. Now I know he was doing it up, he might still be working on it, but he was working on that for a while. And like I say, um, where I used to work, well, I used to come past here quite a bit doing deliveries, and I used to always say to my mate, there's a guy there working on an old moggy lot. Didn't know what year it is. But I don't think he's done anything to it for a while, so later on today, if I get a chance, I might call round and just see what's going on with it. Whether he's still working on it, or whether it's been abandoned, or what. Just be interesting to find out if he'll talk to me. So that's something I'll do today. You never know. Might be some spares there for George. But other than that, Other than that, I'll best get back to work. Or best get to work, I should say. 
Hopefully, if I get a chance sometime today, I'll just check the breathers on George. See if there's anything blocked. If not, I might have to whip that stuff off. See what the gasket's like. Like I say, I don't mind a little bit of oil now and again, but honestly, that's, that's not too good at the minute. Here we are. That works, so we'll catch you a bit later on, I guess. We'll see what we can do. Right then, time to go home. Put the air conditioning on. There we go. It's only 8:30, so I'm not going to call at that house this time of day, but. At some point, I will be. Right, let's head back to mine. I'm going to sit at these traffic lights. But hopefully they won't be long. So where am I at with this oil leak? Um, I'm not totally happy with how much oil George is actually losing at the minute. That's probably not really that much. But it looks a lot, and it's definitely more than it usually leaks, so. That's why I'm bothered about it. Apart from that, it's running absolutely fine. But the good thing about it is, I don't need to use George every day, so I'm going to park him up now. I think today is going to be really hot. I've got some other things on, so... Hopefully, at some point during this week, I'll find a time to do some investigations on this oil. But one of my biggest problems is finding the time. Um, <coughs> because I've got so many other things to do and the main thing at the moment, I've got the little puppy and she is taking up a lot of my time. She's into everything at the minute. toilet drain is coming on really well but like I say she does take up a lot of our time and it's going to be really hot today as well but if I get a chance I will if not Probably the next video I will make will be doing some investigations. I'm hoping the breathers are a little bit blocked, which is causing more oil to be forced over that rear brake. I also need to have a look. That back axle looks like there's been a couple of trips. I don't know that, that's just what I'm thinking.
I do know one thing, if you leave the car standing too long, it ain't gonna help any of the leaks. So, I'll back at mine now. If you look there on my drive, I don't know if you can see it, but let's get me other camera. Where is it? Down there on my drive. There's a quite a bit of oil down there. But I knew that was leaking a bit when I first got him back. Not not immediately. When I got him home I knew he was leaking a bit. Yeah, I knew he had a um a worse leak than when I ever had him when I first got him home. Um, and also when I parked it in the garage that time when I had a problem with the brakes. But I was hoping that was because the guy had um, put more oil in than George likes. Thing is with these old cars, where there not being a seal on the back there, where, when it builds up a bit of pressure, it's got to find somewhere to go and that will leak there. Um, like I've said many a times, I knew George had a leak, and every Mars miner I've had has had a slight leak. Um, Phoebe had quite a bad leak, and I did suss that one out. That was some of the breathers blocked on it. Um, I think the road pipe or crank breather, that was fairly blocked. And off the top of the uh, cover, rocker cover, tappet cover, whatever you want to call it, um, that didn't even have a vent but this one has got a vent that goes across to the carburetor um, whether that's got a bit blocked actually I could just have a quick look at that now really can't I because that ain't going to take me two minutes so that's what I'll do I'll have a quick look at that now and just see whether that's blocked let's have a quick look while we've got five minutes Oh, it's quite hot today, George. Oh, that's the, uh, this pipe here I'm talking about. It's like a vent from this cover. And sometimes they get, get bunged up with gunk. And also, where it goes through into here, there's like a very small hole where this draws in the fumes. Yeah, I think I'm going to just whip that off and have a quick look. Let's grab a screwdriver and we'll do it now. Just loosen these. Jubilee clips. whether that pipe is clear and also the, this where it goes through here sometimes these get blocked and then obviously it can't relieve the pressure out here and then forces out of the back this is another place this I call it a road pipe crank case breather comes off the side of the engine under here there's only one bolt what holds that panel on I'll whip that off, check that pipe is not bunged up as well. Here's your wire, just give that a poke. Make sure it's not bunged up. Seems okay. Just check the actual pipe. Right, that seems fairly clear. So I don't think there's a problem there. Just nip them up. I think I'll be overly tight.
Morning guys, so today is Friday. I've been using my little e-bike all week, so I haven't used George. I did I did clean out the the breather pipe on top of the rocker cover that goes to the air filter. Weren't really blocked, there weren't much in there at all. Hopefully today I'll get a chance to clean out um, the crank vent or what I call it the road pipe that just dumps all the crap out onto the road instead of filtering it and keeping it. So obviously I ain't used George for a week. See how he goes. some really really hot weather this week um, yesterday afternoon we had a little bit of rain and early this morning when I left for work I was spitting the rain and today as it looks in a bit iffy the sky's looking a bit very cloudy and grey let my go out we will see so I've just popped into my mother-in-law's, just got back from work and I thought, you know what, I'm going to fire up George take him for a little ride because I ain't used him just because I like to keep him going as you can see they put traffic lights here now they just keep popping up all over the place Obviously on the way to school, they're taking the dog with them for a walk. What well, a mother is. Traffic lights gonna go up here and all by the looks. They're everywhere. This road is quite busy. People use this back road if it's a country off road. They want to go towards Yarmouth, and everyone will cut through there. It's like the main road to go from Old Road towards Yarmouth. That's going to make some busy. So George is still running okay, as usual. It's just that he'd been dumping out um, a little bit more oil than he did when I owned him before, basically. That might just be the way he's going to be. But, like I say, hopefully today I just want to check the breather's not blocked from the crank breather. And I meant to tweak the bolts on the bottom of the sump when I changed the oil. Well, I never did. So I might get our 
up on the ramp and just go round there because they might have come loose. Might be some weepage out of there. But like everyone says and everyone knows who's ever owned one of these cars, you'll be very lucky if you don't have a small amount of oil leaking. I'll just be careful where I'm parking now. Like, try and keep off people's um, nice brick wave drives. Park on the road somewhere. Way better on gravel. But that's part of owning an old moggy. But as you can see, I ain't used him for a week, started fine, driving fine, so got no issues there. But that's also another thing with owning old cars. Anything can pop up at any minute, you can't guarantee them. Usually they're just things you can fix at the side of the road. The next suspect is going to be this road pipe, and I haven't got time to have a look at that now, so I'll continue this video when I get a chance to whip that off. Lay down, Gemini. Well, don't look like I'm going to be able to do much at the minute unless the sun gets out and dry up all this rain. But decided to pour rain. A little bit of thunder as well. But hopefully that was just a shower and that dries up. What's been happening again as usual has been getting out really nice. Sort of like six o'clock. The evenings have been absolutely lovely. And I think it's probably what's going to happen again today. What's the time now? It's only um, half past twelve. So there's a chance that I could get out this afternoon. I could have a look at that. 
vento poi poi fosse Gemini in the back in a little crate. Thought she was going to make some noises, but she made a couple of squeaks. You now she's laid down, so that's good. Been out in the missus' car, full times with her. She settled after a couple of minutes, so she's getting used to it. Used to. Um, chance to go camping soon and then that'll tell that'll be interesting to see how we get on there because at the moment she's waking up in the night last night she didn't do too bad went to bed about half past nine I think um, she had me up about four o'clock ten to four and I let her out she wanted to go to the toilet, so that was good. So she ain't doing too bad. Some nights she's been, had me up a couple of times, wanted to go for a wee. Then she don't want to go back in the crate, she want to play. Obviously she's only 10 weeks. I've got to try and get her used to know at night time you're going to sleep. And that'll come, I'm sure. I'd like to say it's getting out nice, but it ain't, it's still really cloudy, but it's a bit brighter ahead of me, so it might go. We will see. Traffic's going to be like now at least. Traffic lights they put up. I very much doubt that they're finished what they're doing. Although, I think it's only the guys putting the cables in the ground for the internet, the Wi Fi, or whatever it is. I'm sure they've done it before. They seem to keep coming back again and again, digging up the same roads. Cables in. A lot of the time they are like threading them through the old BT tunnels, pulling them through. So I can't see a queue so maybe they have done that. It's gone. Could be a luck. Well, I can see some guys up the road. No, they're still there. look like they are pulling them through the old drains so hopefully they won't be here too long if they get it sorted. Here we go. Oh. That was good. I bet the people behind me moaning. I stalled it. earlier the missus car when it left the gap to turn and someone was coming out of this road to turn and right. being a bit cheeky quite oh, slippery I just slipped a little bit there there's some more lights around this corner I expect they're still there oh 
Right, this. Um, oh, I've got something else to show you as well. Um, I'll probably do a separate video of that, but. picked up a little generator for the camper van. It's an old one. It's an old two-stroke one. I ain't going to use it all the time when we go camping. Just when we go to places where it's a bit remote and there's no electrical hook up and they don't mind them. It's an old two-stroke um, generator. Funny thing is though, it's not been used. So I've been told, but we'll find out, I haven't even looked at it yet. I got top box gab to pick it up for us, and he's chucked it around mine this morning, so I'll have a look at that later. But like I say, that'll be a separate video. Right, um, I'm not going to be able to get on with much anything. I'm not going to be able to get on with anything at the minute, so I'll leave this for now, and hopefully if it dries out, We'll have a look. Well guys, as you can see, it's rained again. It just keep raining, and, well, just showers really. So what I'm gonna do is end this video here, and hopefully we can get on tomorrow. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.